going to fly through. Um, hey guys, Ginger Beer from Clism Gaming, along with the old co-founder of Clism Gaming, Bone, here with hey, us. Hey. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, RuneScape, and for a lot of you people that uh, have played RuneScape and, or think it's uh, overrated, it is still pretty badass, so don't underestimate it. It will beat your shit up. Now, guys, just want to apologize, because we recorded about halfway through this, and he realized he forgot something. So it's going to go pretty fast, the first black questions. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, my co-host, the bearded one, is off tonight, because uh, he's busy doing stuff, and I didn't want to interrupt him or anything, so I will just do this one by myself. He's someone that us scapers classify as having a life. Well, then again, I also talked to the bearded one, and he really doesn't have any experience with RuneScape himself, so I thought I would just solo this one out. So, uh, the bearded one, if you are listening to this when I do upload it, I do apologize for not we love letting you know. I love you. I anyway, you. As, uh, as Bone said, the first five questions will uh, be pretty quick, so you could probably summon them up in, like, five minutes. All right, so uh, what is your RuneScape name, and it, you said? Um, my original name, which is still my login, is Zinkman, and I recently changed it when I got a fascination for Slayer to Art of Slang. Mm -hmm. so I used to be Art of Skill with him. Yeah, you guys see me around and say, hey, I'm like one of the only people with a unique name like that. Well, that's the thing, though. When you have a unique name, uh, you can stand out in a crowd instead of having a name like I Love Boobies 123 or some shit. Yeah, like everyone's going to remember Zedma because it wasn't an original name. Nobody's going to remember I Pwn Noobs with like N00 Z. I Pwn Noobs. Uh, speaking of Zedma, though, he was for four years the number one, right? Uh, I think four, five or six. Uh. He quit playing. He quit playing hardcore when summoning came out and stopped at ninety two or ninety six for a few years, and then got back in for a while and then quit again after done, after he got one hundred twenty dungeoneering. Well, uh, yeah, at the time when he uh, when he quit, they he didn't. Have, yeah, they didn't have the pack yak, but now if he were to just keep it in ninety six, he could just summon the pack yak. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Which is but all not, you really need because like. If you're going to be a hardcore RuneScaper, then you're going to want to go to a straight to 99. But, I mean, like, personally, I would just stay at 96 and just pack yak. Uh, if a question comes up about how I plan to continue my RuneScape career, uh, I'll explain what plan is for the next, you know, a little while. All right. Moving on, uh, the fourth question is, out of all the quests in RuneScape, which one by far is your most favorite? Forgiveness of a Chaos Orb mainly because the Red Axe series is my favorite, and this quest had a lot of... It, it was really intriguing. It was interesting how they how, how it played out. And it, it brought a whole new experience to the game itself with the hand cannons and the Chaos 4 battlefield. And personally, I just like the quest. Good dialogue, good everything. Have you uh, used the hand cannon yet? Nope. But I've been camping the Chaos Dwarf Battlefield for about two hours a day trying to obtain one. And I've only gotten about 400 hand cannon shots. Mm -hmm. I've lost more money than I made. <laughs> now, the hand cannon, does it take uh, dwarf cannon cannonballs, or do you have to, like, get your own oh, cannonball? No, it takes the hand cannon shots. You can buy them off the ear, or the cannoneers in the battlefield drop 100 at a time. Mm -hmm. It's a rare drop, so... Oh, that sucks. I hate I hated rare drops in RuneScape. It's like, give me this shit. I really don't care what other crap you have to drop. Uh, number five, this is a question that he has not answered because... He's good, he's good stuff. Yeah. Dude, you got to love this question. Question number five, if you had the chance to meet one of the most famous RuneScape players, which would be your player of choice? In all honesty, I met most of the original players, probably walked by them at one time or another, had a chat with them or something. But out of the current ones, I'd honestly want to meet RuneShark. Because I do love their YouTube videos, I love their series, and they're, heavy, they're heavy, heavily uh, connected with Jagex. 
they actually just came out with an update on the front page, uh, an event sponsored by JGAX that has to do with Rune Shark. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Uh, you, you could you could basically loosely say that uh, Rune Shark is the machinima of RuneScape, correct? Um, not quite machinima. Machinima is more movies and everything, but I, I think they're they, they make up most of the RuneScape. Uh, they make, in my opinion, they make most of the best guides. They make a lot of good series. Uh, they do things originally, mm -hmm. and I love it. Well, on that note, if you were to question any random anonymous uh, gamer, they would be like, oh, yeah, Machinima, because everyone knows Machinima, right? Machinima is like the top of their game in gaming, and they... Yeah, they, Machinima they, is the biggest video gaming industry, video making, I should say, in business. They have a whole office building located in California. Mm -hmm. And if you are good enough on YouTube, they will hire you and fly you out there. That'd be a pretty beast if you were able to do that. I wish. All right, question number six. What is your most favorite setup, like uh, armor setup, in RuneScape ever? Bronze armor with the bronze dagger, soloing KVD. Oh, man. Ultra skill. Have you actually done that? Oh, we, uh, I think 2007, there was an event that I found on the forums, and I joined it, and, you know, a bunch of people in complete bronze armor, bronze daggers, <laughs> killing the KDD with an anti-fire shield. It was, it was pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Can you just about, imagine, like, aimlessly stabbing at it for a couple hours, and it's only, like, an indent of health? No, nah, you can knock two hours off each kill if you actually switch the attack style with stab. <laughs> Could you imagine doing that, and it's just like, what the fuck? Oh, jeez. Next. Oh, hey, look, it's Shane. He decided to join us. It's the bearded one. Oh, hi, hi there. We're, Hello in the there. Of, we're in the middle of a recording. Oh, I showed up at the perfect time, then. Perfect. Amazing, perfectly timed. We are, uh, talking about RuneScape and shit. I see, so I'm completely useless for this episode. Basically, that's the reason why I was soloing it out. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I've been feeling like shit today, so I didn't really want to do any recording. Uh, that's There's something. a flu bug going around this city. <laughs> In the city. Anyway, we should get on with this. All right, um, question number seven. What is your most favorite skill to train? Uh, I think my name says it all. It has to be Slayer. Just the versatility of it. It doesn't get boring and... It's a good way to train all your skills and everything at once. I love this skill with all my heart. I'll do it till the day I get 99 and pass. Would you ever get uh, 200 mil experience? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> like straight up. Just, oh. Would you ever uh, join the uh, Slayers uh, Guild? Uh, TSG, I have put in an application, but I told them I'd rather stay in the current clan I'm in, which at the time was Magi, but I have changed over to the aquarium. Oh, and uh, Jinji, I made you the, I made you the uh, host of Magi, just, just saying, when I quit. Like the <laughs> owner? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I love you, so I did that for well, you. Well, thank you. All right, so, question number eight. Uh, I do not know how to pronounce this, but I will try my best. If you lived in Glenor, which is the whole world of RuneScape, in real life, where would you most likely spend most of your waking hours, like, to hang out? Whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have whorehouses in Glenor. I will build one for the sake of hanging out at it countless hours. We'll build it right outside Falador Castle. Use your uh, player player owned house and uh, make a room. <laughs> Call it the whole house. Bring all your bitches in there. Uh, no, I'm, I think I'd have sad to say Curadell's dungeon. Mm -hmm. I I I I'd make those abyssal demons my bitches. Have you uh, on that note? Have you ever fought a uh, mithril dragon before? Uh, I killed almost a thousand. I think. <laughs> I think ever... my 
Have you ever gotten a, uh, what's the drop they drop? Full home? Yeah. No. But I have gotten about 50-something chewed bones, which I have to sacrifice or whatever to a pyre, and there's a better chance I'll get a full home. Uh-huh. But they're a bitch to kill. Yeah. Uh, number nine, what is the most valuable thing you've ever had on your RuneScape account, both to you in wealth, both to you or in wealth? Um, well, I've had a lot of different things. You know, I have had a party head at one time, but I, I think the most valuable item I have is my bunny ears. It's because it's a really unique item, and it's the first untradeable holiday item in game. Mm-hmm. And I have, to this day, only saw about 10 people in-game wearing them. Because mm-hmm. they want to flaunt what they have. Yeah. If you have it, you flaunt it, right? Exactly. I love them. But uh, you did say that in wealth you have had the uh, party hat on you before? Uh, I have had a party hat, in, but I ended up selling it in 2004 for like 6 mil or something to some random dude. <laughs> Did you get all the money, or did he try to scam you? Oh, I got all of it. Good man. What is, uh, number 10, what is your most favorite monster in RuneScape? My favorite monster? That's a good question, because there are a lot of them. Yeah. I I mean, well, both to date and, like, ever. (laughs) Uh, Years ago, it would have to be cows, because I spent countless hours (laughs) and hours and hours and hours collecting cowhides and bones. You could surprisingly make a lot of money on cowhide. Fuck my luck. How did I not see that coming? I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. That was awkward. Yeah, my RuneScape, or fucking Bach, my internet disconnected. Anyway, next question. Anyway, this is still recording. Good. Um, (laughs) Sorry, uh, guys. The next question is... uh, What is your uh, highest level you've ever gotten in a skill? Um... I'll be honest, for playing 11 years, I've never gone to 99. But that's part of my training plan to get 99 as slowly as possible type thing. Mm-hmm. I do plan the max combat in from Slayer. And right now my highest level is 97 attack, followed by 93 constitution, which I just got today. Nice. Uh, question number 12, uh, have you ever used a third-party program to modify RuneScape in some way? So this would mean botting, hacking, whatever. Uh, no, but uh, right now there's a dungeoneering program called Dungeon Sweeper. Uh, as of now, it's not banned by Jagex or found upon in any way. It's, it helps you with dungeons and everything. It doesn't actually influence the game in any way. It's just an outside program which you can add on items during a dungeon. If you're playing a dungeoning game, you can switch this program and map out everything. It's actually it's a pretty cool program. It's a pretty cool program, but I would see people uh, abusing it to uh, scam off XP from the game. That, no, that's the thing, though. It doesn't directly influence the game. Oh, so like, it, let's it, say I needed... Um, it's a dungeoneer guide. Yeah. It basically gives you a map of the whole floor, and you add on which doors are here, which color keys here, uh, where certain resources are. It, it goes really in depth, but it does not in any direct way influence the game. Oh, cool! So it's basically like mapping out the uh, the thing. The, yeah, uh, that's pretty sick. Uh, next question would be... Holy crap, you have a lot of questions. I know. I am doing 20 questions. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. Uh, question 13. How often do you use the Grand Exchange? As of now? 
questing, I've been there quite a bit because items are hard to come by, but other than questing, I have come up, I have decided I will not use the Grand Exchange to buy any materials that I can gather myself. Yeah. If I decide I, I will only buy gear or, you know, weaponry, armor and stuff, because those are hard to come by. Yeah. Uh, I will buy, like, you know, a dragon pick, a dragon axe or something. Items to help me gather materials. Rather than that, I don't buy any potions. I don't buy any logs. I don't buy any bow strings or flax. Mm -hmm. I don't buy anything that I can gather myself. Yeah, flax is a pain in the ass to collect. But back in the day, it was really... Uh, Expensive. Yeah. Um, next question. Oh, I learned a lot. Who is your favorite NPC? Hmm. Favorite NPC? It's a lot of them. <laughs> Again. I know. Uh, it would probably have to be Commander Volabund or whatever from the Red Axe series to get in the quest. Because he is a really lively character with a lot of different personalities. So just because they go really in depth with his like past life. Is he schizophrenic? <laughs> no, it's, it's just they go really in depth with depth with him, and he is a huge part of the Red Axe series. And uh, he's got a my favorite NPC. Uh -huh. All right, uh, question fifteen would be: In real life, would you rather be trapped in the depths of Lumbridge Castle or trapped for four days without food, water, or shelter in the creepy swamps of Mortania? I'd have to go with Lumbridge Castle, because then I could just go to the bank chest and buy all the food and supplies I need. Oh well, yeah, that's, I never even thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, then again, Mortania does have, like, vampires and shit, and it's gross and smells like fish. Kill the snails for some food or something. <laughs> and then have a gas kill it on you. I'm going to go off topic, but uh, I don't even know if it was uh, you that I did this with, but uh, way back in the day before, back uh, when uh, the wilderness was shut down by Jagex from PvP and the uh, revenants were emplaced, uh, me and uh, a couple of my friends, I don't know if it was you two, but uh, we used to do survival in there. And we would have oh, to make up okay. all of our armor, all of our food. We would have to, like, fish and shit. And uh, wasn't me. we basically, like, reenacted DayZ, like, before DayZ was made. Yeah. So, like, if someone was caught by uh, a revenant, they're just like, okay, yeah, fuck you, we're done. And then we would always, like, try and go back into it. Um, moving on, question number 16, almost Indeed. done. Uh, which RuneScape monster or characters would you want to have a sexual encounter with? All of them. I like that answer. At the same time? Every single one, just a massive orgy. Do you enjoy the wise old man's party hat rubbing against your lower back? Indeed, oh, it's all I think as, about at work. As he gives you a rim job... I, I dreamed about a threesome with the king black dragon, the queen black dragon, and myself. That's uh, pretty beastly. I agree. If you catch my drift. Um, what is your most memorable loot you've ever gotten from a monster? Oh, jeez. Um, I think, uh, what was it? Do you remember that one time I completely flipped shit over a drop? I think that was when we were fighting uh, the KBD. Mm, I'm not too sure. You flipped shit when I made like four mil off of those torstal drops. Oh yeah, you got like a forty clean torstal drop and like sold and I'm like, uh, made like. Actually, yeah, I think it would have to be uh, um, what was it? There's a monster that constantly drops torstal seeds. Really? Yeah, torstal seeds. Uh, I think it was Taras. The one Taroth task, about 150 of them, I ended up getting well over 10 torso seeds. Wow. That's just from, you know, single drops. So I was <laughs> I was in heaven. I was about a good three mil back then. Damn. Uh, question number 18. Have you ever been scammed or hacked? Uh, I have been. No, actually, I don't think I've been scammed or hacked. No, I was always a smart player. 
you know, I figured, like, I never used to socialize much, and then I always learned all the, you know, smaller scams and stuff. Yeah. So, and, nah, yeah, I just played smart, kept things to myself. You, you have to think. If someone's going around saying trimming armor. <laughs> I remember no those days. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm going to add a question in here. Have you ever gotten into dicing? Um, I tried it once. I came out with like five no and said, you know, screw it. <laughs> uh, Jagex banned dicing, eh? They removed the dice bag from the game? Yeah, they removed it completely. Now there's some hot and cold thing going around, and I don't even know what it is, and I'm not even bothering to find out. Mm -hmm. So in no way will I gamble my GPs. Has, like, oh. the, um, was it because, uh, like, Jagex removed it maybe because uh, a lot of people were getting scammed and a lot of people were... No, it's... They removed it because the intention of the dice bag was not to gamble, but for friends to have a fun time. Mm -hmm. So if they removed it because gambling was not the original intention and they did not like how players used it with their intentions. Isn't gambling against the rules, though? Uh, I believe so. That's funny. Uh, question number 19. Have you ever gotten a 99 and plans on getting one? I have no 99, but I do have plans on getting every 99. It'll only take 13 more years. <laughs> no, Speaking but my... of 13, today is Friday the 13th. Yes, it is. But my goal is for your children. <laughs> my goal is for my 99s are to get them purely myself. Uh-huh. I will not, like I said, I will not buy any materials off the GE. Yeah. So, like, Herblore and fire making, or other Bibles, or other prayer, I will not buy a single item off the GE. Oh, I will man. gather all the materials myself. Fire making would be a pain in the ass to collect all the materials yourself. Unless you were to just straight up cut willow logs? Actually, not really. <laughs> uh, it's actually had... pretty simple to do right now. I remember, remember I told you I had the one goal. I was going to go from 99 wood cutting all the way to 200 mil just by cutting magic logs. Oh, man. Magic logs are actually rising in price. And I've been cutting for a now, I calculated it out and how long it would take. Uh, I would get one, I think it was like 1.4 bill from all of those logs if I were to sell them like at the end. And it would take, like, three years. Well, what, 13 mil XP for 99, so I'm going to say 187 mil divided by 250 log XP. So that's 748,000 logs. Holy fuck. Yeah. Could okay. you imagine if I released all of those into the G, the price would, like, drop? Oh, my God. Finally, the last question, what is your you favorite minigame? You make about a bill. Hmm? You make about a bill from that. Yeah, I know. Question number 20, what is your favorite minigame in RuneScape to date? To date would have to be RuneScan. Only because RuneCrafting I hate doing because it's the constant clicking, but when they came out with the RuneScan, I got five levels in one day. Hmm. I was happy. Uh, I, re I remember when I was free to play and I had no intention of getting members, so I wanted to go to, um, uh, what is it, the Great Ore Project or something like that, and I actually, I went to go do Fog, which is Fist of Guthix, and I got the, uh, the Earth Gloves, the Earth Crafting Gloves, and I actually got to 50, just like four days, going back and forth, back and forth to the Earth Altar. <laughs> Oh, wow. I would get so pissed off, and I was like, man, they really need to emplace a, uh, like, a rest person. And this was, like, before the rest was there. Yeah. So I would, like, walk back and forth. Well, how the Earth Altar, where is that? Uh, what, the Earth Altar? Yeah, I'm trying to remember where it is. Uh, it's right, right outside Varrock. You go to the east oh. bank, and then you walk out the gate, and then you Okay, just, yeah. And then it's right beside. By the side. lumber mill. Yeah. All right, well, that's all the questions I have. Woo! And it's probably a fucking long episode. But, um, um, yeah, 
the bearded one decided to join us halfway in the middle, so that was great. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good, brah. Uh, if you guys ever see uh, Art of Slang around the world of RuneScape, just uh, be sure to holla at his ass and tell him that he has uh, a nice face. Make sure to stalk him as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Follow him. Follow him and be like, can I have GPs? And then he'll be like, tits or GTFO. And they'll be like... And if you have gross-ass tits, he won't like it. They'll go to the uh, makeover mage, change yourself, and they'll be like, yeah, you're a guy. I honestly had somebody come to me while I was, uh, like, woodcutting, and, like, they were horny as shit. And they are like, can you pay 3K for me to get a... Uh, sex change so I could be a girl, and then come come to a bedroom with me. I was like, uh, yeah, sure, here, here's 3K. <laughs> and then I, like, ran off and never saw him again. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, we will wrap this up. My name is Ginger Beaver from Closing Gaming, along with my co-host, The Bearded One, and my old co-founder for Closing Gaming, Bone. Yep. So stay tuned for another episode of... KGTS, and we will see you next time. Yeah. Out, bitches. Hill's going, Joe.